Indoor training is something that was once only reserved for winter time, but with the invention of smart trainers and online training platforms, it's something that many of us are doing all year round. However, one of the drawbacks of indoor training is that your bike is in a fixed, rigid position that doesn't always replicate what it's like to ride outside. But fear not, it doesn't have to be that way because you can get some lateral side-to-side -side movement like this by using certain smart trainers that have that function built into them. Only a few years ago, I'd have done everything possible to avoid training indoors. But recently, something that's caught my eye are rocker plates, and I've not been fortunate enough to try one out yet, and we're on GCN Tech, so I'm obviously going to build one, and let's go! Okay, so I've planned ahead and got all of the wood that we think we could need to get this build underway. I've got all of the fixtures and fittings of hardware here that I'm going to need to build it. And then I've got my Wahoo kicker that I'm going to be mounting onto the rocker plate. And I could have upgraded this for the latest Wahoo kicker that has the access action feet that allows for lateral side to side movement. Or I could have upgraded this one, but we haven't all got the ability to do that. And if I had upgraded this one, well then I wouldn't be able to get the power tools out either. But it did get me thinking, what am I going to use to suspend and add suspension onto the rocker plate? Well, I don't know, what can we use? Whoa! Looks like we're using tennis balls, hey! Give us that back! You yeah. Looks like I have to get that back later, and looks like we're using tennis balls for our suspension. So how am I actually going to build this thing? Well, I'm going to be cutting out two platforms out of this large sheet of plywood and then running down the center of those two platforms, I'm going to use some of this wood and then attach these hinges, which are going to allow the two plates to rock independent of each other. And I've gone all out because these hinges actually feature little ball bearings inside them to make their action as smooth as possible. And the suspension, well, I've already covered that. I'm going to be using tennis balls. I've got the bike and the trainer sat on top of the plywood so that I can then measure and mark out the shape that I want so I can cut it out, flip it over and then cut out the second sheet that I want. And I think that calls for a montage. Right, let's do some cutting. I'm going to turn it up to 11. Oh, it only goes to six. Looks like that'll do. Right, cancel that. The big saw's out. Let's do it. That's the first one cut out. Um, it looks like a bit of a rocket ship. Anyway, let's lay this down, get the second one marked out and cut that out. That's both of the platforms nicely cut out, or um, rocket ships as they look like a little bit. So our next stage is to mount the central piece of wood all the way down the middle and attach the hinges to it that can act as our pivot point to allow for the lateral rocking movement. So we better get on and do that next. To help keep our rocker plate in place, I've got some nice rubber feet that I'm going to screw on. Feet on. Nice. So we've got our center line marked out nicely on the baseboard here, which means we can then take our hinges, get those so the hinge pivot pin is nicely in line with our center line. We can screw those into the bottom piece of the wood, and then we can take these additional pieces of wood here and mount them on the side of our hinge. And then that way we've got a pivoting base that we can attach the top half to and screw that down and in. Nice. I'm using this size of wood so that when we screw it on the side of our hinge here, it sits the top base at the correct height so that our tennis ball, or suspension, is slightly compressed so that when we have these either side, it acts as the perfect amount of suspension. That's the hinges in place, as you can see, and it is a very basic construction. I mean, it's designed to be a DIY homemade rocker plate, so it's something that you could easily put together at home. Um, and the hinges are obviously going to support the weight that we're going to put on the top, as well as the tennis balls we'll put underneath as well. So let's get this top plate on and see if it all lines up. Oh, nice. 
nice. Looks like we can get that screwed down and in place. Whoa. So that's the top plate on. And would you believe it, it actually pivots really nicely. I'm happy about that. So let's get a couple of tennis balls underneath here just to test it out first. Let's put one in this side here, kneel on that, and can wedge one under this side just so we've got something to support it and test it out. Um, let's give it a go, ready? That is bloody amazing. So all we've got to do now is get the kicker secured on nicely and we can give it its first ever test run. kicker secured in place so all that is left now is to add our high-tech suspension or tennis balls into place so I can put one on this side and then pivot this across to squeeze this tennis ball in this side and the great thing about using this sort of basic tennis ball system is you can fine-tune the ride characteristics to however you like so if you'd like the rocker plate to be a bit firmer you can just add in another tennis ball each side and if you'd like to have the rocker plate a little bit more active and have more movement available, just take one of the tennis balls back out and you've got a rocker plate that has quite a good bit of movement to it. Happy days. That's the rocker plate build complete. All that remains now is to go inside, get some cycling kit on and then test it out. Okay, let's go. Up, 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 up. So having ridden this for a good few minutes now and starting to get a feel for it, I'm actually really impressed with my handiwork and it really does highlight that lateral side-to-side -side rocking movement, which is what we're aiming for. And it's kind of an easy, simple way to add an extra dynamic to your indoor training. Oh. So having just built my indoor rocker plate, would I consider doing it again over upgrading my Wahoo kicker? Probably not, but if you're into DIY, it's a great fun project to do, especially if your indoor trainer doesn't have the feature to have the rocking motion added to it. And I hope you really enjoyed this video, and if you have, give it a big thumbs up. And why not let me know down in the comments section what I should build next. Cheers, see you later.